Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. Before we pull up our video, we always want to start off our disclosures. Any symbols you see today should not be referred as a trading recommendation. No matter what foreign investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategy we show today are for informational purposes only, future results not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is solely your own responsibility, trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our forex technical analysis trading plan for the pound dollar, the euro dollar, and the dollar franc. In each video, we look at the prior session's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll review the gold chart to come up with leading sentiment. We'll try to create a low volatility and inside bar watch list, and we have an education spotlight at the end. Please send your feedback and comments to contact at dmbfx.com, and let's head to the charts. As usual, we are starting off with our gold chart, and we can see even though the consolidation is drifting high, which is certainly great, um, it is still, you could say, a larger range. Um, and again, as we've been saying all week, uh, there is a flight to gold for safety as the dollar is being tweaked, is being held hostage by this decision. So until there's a decision, you're going to continue to see a flight to gold, and I would assume that it's still going to continue to rise. We can see on our hourly time frame, we've got our point of control down here at 1613. You can see the volume that's accumulating at this price level, even if we keep going over, you can, you can continue to see that volume accumulator. So you can see that there is definitely a good support around 1613. So uh, I would certainly watch that as a buy point, even though we're not getting a pullback to the uh, moving hours that we really want. Uh, you can definitely see that 1613 is where the volume is. So it's definitely a volume support price level. Currently, we are definitely overbought coming out of that at the present time. As we switch to the, the pound dollar, and we see, again, the strength in gold, uh, there is a weakness in the dollar. And one thing we can see on this currency pair, if I take... Scroll over just a little bit. There's our wick. So we'll grab our horizontal line, kind of draw that in there, and we'll bring it back. You can kind of see that this is a resistance price level. But as we said before, although this could be definitely identified as a resistance price level, there was a time when it was not honored in this area here. So we're at a resistance point. We are in a selling zone on our Bollinger Bands. We're above our long-term moving average. Uh, so that certainly gives us uh, some indication of being at resistance in the selling zone above what could happen. The reason why we'll see that happen is we can see that the control is the pound. Although, neither are above zero, and they're actually working together, which might bring some consolidation to the sideways movement. So you can see, when the pound took control, we got our big push up, but as it's uh, leveled off, so did our price. Um, so right now, we're going to have to continue to watch this and see if we do get a trigger to get a pullback back to the... Uh, neutral zone. Here on the euro dollar, we can see that same uh, resistance price level being put in. Um, we can see that we are uh, in a range price level, price action here on the daily. Uh, really seeing some sideways action. Uh, not the same strength that the pound dollar is showing us. On our Bollinger Band, we are in a neutral zone. And here we can see that the euro is in control, but likewise, it's moving 
horizontal, and that's why we have our sideways action in a neutral zone. Um, so even though the, the dollar is getting weaker, we are seeing uh, a sideways action because the pound's not showing strength. Finally, with our dollar franc, here we really are seeing the uh, the, the weakness of the dollar uh, show up. We can see really a continued push down. This is really the best trending of the of the three. Um, we can see we're clearly in a buy zone. We're uh, below the long-term moving average. We can see that the franc is clearly in control. But unlike the pound, unlike the euro, we're diverging up. And that's why we're really seeing the move, unlike the pound and the euro, because the franc is in control and it's moving above zero and it's diverging away from the dollar. So, our overall theme for today, and the reason why we're not getting too detailed into this to, this on today's analysis is that we know what's going on. There is a deadline of Tuesday for a decision to be made about the U.S. debt ceiling limit. And as long as there's no decision, there is weakness in the dollar, um, and we have to be prepared to trade any uh, uh, news release. Uh, they've been meeting over the weekend here. Um, I haven't uh, turned on the news yet to see if there's anything here on Sunday, but in the end, uh, uh, yesterday there was the vow that it's not going to happen, uh, a default's not going to happen. So we're seeing a weakness in the dollar, we're being controlled by the news, we're not being controlled by the price action, so let's let that news uh, come out and trade the reaction. As we look at our low volatility and inside our watch list, currently uh, we don't have anything. Certainly as the market opens, we'll have some things update on our Twitter account. So I had the opportunity as we go to our educational uh, portion of our video to uh, interview uh, uh, shadow trader Peter Resnick from Thinkorswim. And I'll be bringing that to our blog. And if you haven't checked out, on our blog we've been interviewing um, you know, some very uh, educated and well-known traders uh, as a part of our Developing a Trader Mindset series, um, um, both from Forex, Futures, Stocks. We've been interviewing several traders just to get some ideas and tips of what they do to be successful. And this week on Friday, I had the opportunity to interview uh, Peter Regent. And he said, he, <coughs> he ended the video, the in interview, with this comment and I thought I would continue it as our education moment for our video and that is the, the key to being uh, a successful trader the key to, to developing a, a, a traders mindset is to be present in the here and now and what that simply means and again please listen to the interview to really hear how he explains it because I'm not going to do it justice but in simple terms it simply means you have to deal with the emotions that you're having. Uh, we talk so often about the fears of trading. And they, they don't go away. But in order to deal with them, you have to be present. If you avoid them, you haven't dealt with them, and they can still affect your trading behaviors. So there's nothing wrong with having those emotions. It's just how you, in fact, deal with them is what makes the difference. So in order to be a successful trader, be present. Um, uh, don't allow a past trade to affect a current trade. Don't allow um, your emotions to distract you from what's going on in the market. You have to be present to receive what the market is giving you and then react. Again, you can find that on our blog to hear the whole interview, which is great. You can also find all of our videos on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, you know about some of our resources. We've got our free video course on high probability tr trading, five great videos to help you develop your own. We've got our great mentor sessions where we can work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you develop a personalized trading plan and help you build that psychological capital you need to be a successful trader. Cash back for Forex trades. It's a rebate. It doesn't change your trading conditions. It doesn't change your spread. It's just rebates for your Forex trade. If you're trading Forex, why not? And finally, if you want to get automated signals that either can be traded automatically or you can trade those signals, we have that for you also. But as we always say and end with, the key to being a successful trader is developing a trader's mindset. Check out our video. If you can't pull the trigger because you're not present, you're not going to make money. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.